man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that our club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I do like inklings though. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because! Because, 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 because of all the wonderful things he does. It's right in your name. Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Monica's finally angry. Whoa, those eyebrows. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Huh? Ah, never mind. Let's focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't everything be deja vu? That's always deja vu, Demi. Just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Dimmy, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber racer up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Demi. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry. I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask you if you knew anything. So I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? Are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Demi. Me? Oh my gosh, this protagonist is so dense. How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, Demi. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Uh... Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions. So you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. 
I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Hey, you! Eh? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Ah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It... it's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez, now you're making me feel like a jerk. But Natsuki, you're always a jerk. No, I'm not, Baka. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone, and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. No, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me, so I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, Natsuki exhales. <sighs> well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not. Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry up and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Do do do. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. I should show my poem to Natsuki. Let's see. Let's see. You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course. You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before, Sundre. Well, well, of course. I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything, stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. <laughs> Natsuki? What? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Eh? Well, what are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best, right? It took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe, Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. Right? Demi, please just tell me you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please... <laughs> um... Just please tell me I'm the best like no one ever was. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid. But there's really a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously! What's the point in sharing my poems if people just laugh and say, That's so cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just want... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. 
Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki, if you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put into it. D don't read it! Before I pick it back up, Natsuki snatches the poem up from the desk. It's not any good. And I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. But why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think that your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayori, she always means well. But sometimes, she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Oh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around. When today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward. Because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a shout. But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty. Because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller. Because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart, but what do I do when it's torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Natsuki, do you like sheep? Wait, what? Because you, because you, because you. Hey! Err, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. D don't just say that, dummy. I think you might dimmy, Natsuki. No, dummy. Ah, uh, fine. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I am sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well, and I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. Uh, I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just remember that... I can think these things sometimes, too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's... <sighs> meaningful. Ah, I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki is satisfied, I hand the poem back to her. But as I do, Natsuki takes my hands and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Eh? Why not? Because Wabafet. Wait, what? I just don't. Jeez. I realize what Natsuki is doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I choose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Uh... Never mind. Just... I'm glad that you want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. That's all for now, so... Go put it away before someone else sees it, okay? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll go do that. With that, I return to my seat so that I can put away Natsuki's poem.
ふわふわるふわふわりわにるいまいぽんぶんみくすまいはるとドキドキ